When you go to see your dentist, um, they may say lots of sort of complicated names and you may be confused as to what they're explaining. Um, so I'm just going to go through some of the things with you. In your mouth, you've got two jaws, obviously. You've got your bottom jaw, which is called your mandible, and the top jaw, which is called your maxilla. The teeth are split into sextants. So you've got the anterior sextant, which is from the canine, which is this pointy tooth over here, to the same canine on the other side. So that's your anterior teeth. Your anterior teeth consist of your canines, your lateral incisors, central incisors, and then the same thing on the other side, which is your central incisors, lateral incisors, and your canines. The teeth behind your canines are called your posterior teeth. So behind your canines, you've got your bicuspids and your cuspids. So you've got your premolar teeth. Um, there's two premolar teeth there, and there's three molar teeth. So the first, second, and third molar. The third molar, um, not everyone may have, it's also known as your wisdom tooth. With the teeth as well, you may notice the dentists call out certain names for certain teeth. For example, they may point to the um, this central tooth over here and call that the upper right one, upper right two, upper right three, upper right four, five, six, seven, eight. Or there's different systems in different, um, you know, different parts of the world. Um, so it may well also be that mm. the dentist may start at the tooth on the upper right hand side and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and start on the bottom teeth all the way from 17 to 32. When you look at the mouth, you can split it into different areas again. So right down the middle of the mouth, you can call that um, the midline. Um, the areas closest to the midline is called um, mesial. So they're the mesial surfaces. The areas away from the midline are called the distal surfaces. The bite surfaces are called the occlusal surfaces um, and the bits in, in between the teeth are called the interproximal surfaces. Um, so for example, for this tooth over here, if, you, um, if the dentist wants to explain what's happening in this area, they may say upper right one, mesial surface has a cavity or, or um, a filling, etc. Different teeth have different numbers of roots. So the anterior teeth, the front teeth, tend to have one root each. The bicuspids have two roots and the molar teeth going backwards have two or three roots. Each tooth is split into different tooth surfaces. So the outside of the teeth are on the front teeth are called labial surfaces. These are the surfaces that are closest to the lips. On the back teeth, the ones that are closest to the cheeks are called the buccal surfaces. On the inside, the ones that are closest to the palate are called your palatal surfaces. And for the lower teeth, the uh, surfaces that are closest to the tongue are called the lingual surfaces. The bite surfaces of the teeth are called your occlusal surfaces. So they're the areas that you use to um, bite your food together. Different teeth have different numbers of cusps. The bicuspids tend to have two cusps. Um, the molar teeth tend to have four or five cusps. Your dentist may use these different terminologies to note down different things that are happening in these areas, anything that's happening of interest or any cavities or fillings um, that, may, that you may have in your mouth.